Espresso. Fat free double cappuccino. What is taking so long? The espresso machine's acting up. Can't get Mario the repair guy in until this afternoon. Kind of a regular here. I'm kind of late for work. Matcha latte almond milk. <laughs> Sorry, that's my order. Mine too. I know how to solve this. I also ordered a... Cinnamon raisin bagel. So did I. <laughs> Go ahead. No, are you sure? Yeah, you're in a hurry. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks. your chest, would you describe that as more of a sharp pain, a heaviness, or? More of a tightness. It only lasts for a few minutes, and it usually happens right after I take my dog, Miss Lily, for her nightly walk. Okay. Well, your cholesterol has crept up a bit over the last few checkups. Now, I hear you make a mean steak tartare. Your husband told me all about it and blamed a lot of things on it. <laughs> so I think if you can just make a few less dishes like that and make a couple other dietary changes, you and Mr. Beauregard should be able to enjoy many more healthy years together. Assuming you want to. I do. <laughs> How are the green kids? The green kids are wonderful. Did you get to have that graduation party? <gasps> April, yeah, why aren't you in room 223? What's in room 223? Your next patient waiting patiently Mr. Shepard? But I thought he wasn't in until 11. I had it moved up to help you keep shorter appointments. Uh, just a second. I'm just going to help Mrs. Beauregard schedule her EKG. Reception would be happy to help you with that. That's why they're here. Isn't he a charmer? Sorry, Mrs. B. Dr. Schneider was just being himself. Mm. On April, on April. Oh. oh, Zeke, what happened? Scott ran off in a car hit him. Can you help? Oh, sweetie, I'm not that kind of doctor. What you need is a doctor for animals. There's a veterinarian up on 82nd. That's why I take my Miss Lily. Boys, they'll get you a ride home right over there, okay? This way. All right, come on, Zeke. Just this way. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Hi, I am so sorry to interrupt. My nephew's dog was just hit by a car. Is there a vet available that could help him, maybe? Oh, let me see what I can do. All of our doctors are with patients right now. Okay. Not all of them. You. Come on back. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. They'll need to be in a cast for a few weeks, but after that, we'll be ready to rock and roll. You hear that, boy? You're gonna be okay. Now, what is Scout's favorite color? Docs are colorblind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Humor me. How about orange? Orange it is. Orange it is. So, Mom, Scout will probably need some pain medication. Oh, no, not Mom. Aunt. Zeke's aunt. Scout's too, I guess. I'm April. Jesse, nice to meet you. Hey, Zeke, you should probably call your mom and let her know what happened. How was your bagel? Worth the wait. I wanted to thank you for this morning and for squeezing us in just now. No worries, just doing my job. Speaking of, I should probably be getting back to mine. Beecher Hospital. I was wondering why we matched. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Can I give you a card for the cast uh, x-rays and... Oh, reception handles the payment. Right, of course. But, uh, who am I getting your phone number? <laughs> Hold up, lovebirds. No toasting without us. Oh, go easy on them, eh? Remember when we used to be like that? Mm-hmm. I still have the slow jam playlist to prove it. All right, happy birthday to my older sister. Cheers. 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 Do you still need a few more minutes? Oh, no, I'll have the bucatini. Flounder for me. Can I get the Florentine steak medium rare? Oh, and I don't want the seared artichokes on the side. 
I'll also take the Florentine steak medium rare, but I definitely want to see your artichokes. Ooh, could you put my artichokes on his plate? Sure thing. Thank you. I love the way you think. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself a good one, Jesse. And I have to say, I think April finally met her match. Oh, thanks, Rob. Well, you and May set a great example. <laughs> you didn't see us chasing Zeke and Scout at the house earlier. <laughs> We still make it work. <laughs> oh, and Zeke thinks you hung the moon, Jesse. I mean, he only talks about wanting to be a vet. Yeah, did you always want to be a vet? Uh, I've always had a heart for animals. Did you have many pets growing up? Were your parents, like, animal people? I guess you could say that. Well, since we're all here, a gift. Oh, show off. <laughs> April, since the day that you came into my office, made me the happiest man in New York. Besides Rob, obviously. So. <gasps> Paris? We leave two weeks from Friday, but we can transfer the tickets if you can't get the time off. Are you kidding me? I haven't taken a vacation in like a year. Yes, let's do it. Nice one, Romeo. How did I get so lucky to find someone like you? <laughs> Parting is such sweet sorrow. I can't wait for Paris. Thank you again. You're working so hard. Your situation at Beecher is an ideal, and I've always wanted to go. You deserve it. As usual, you've read me like a book. I just wish you were that easy. What do you mean? Sorry, nothing. Must be the champagne talking. <laughs> Good night, Dr. Harden. Good night, Dr. Momo. <laughs> Super common, especially with new mothers. I thought I was just tired from the baby. Do you want to see some pictures? He's just starting to crawl. Do I want to see some pictures? Yes, please. My <gasps> oh my goodness, he is so big. I know. And look here, he's <clears throat> April. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Don't Next month. Know. Yes. Don't forget. See you then. I promise. Okay. What can I do for you, Dr. Schneider? We've discussed this already. Our doctors don't have leisure time to spend with individual patients. I understand that, but I make better diagnoses when I get to know my patients. They appreciate it too. April, we have quotas to fill. Our job is to treat patients, not to befriend them. Am I being clear? Yes, Dr. Schneider. go at this pace. If you had told me we were training for the Olympics, I would have worn better shoes. Sorry, sis. What's got you so amped up? Dr. Schneider, he's on me again about patient turnover. I guess first jobs always stink, even when you're a doctor. He just treats me like I'm a part of a machine. I think the best way to treat people is to treat them like people, but... That takes time and, I don't know. Maybe medicine just isn't what I thought it was gonna be. I don't, I don't know if I really belong there. You do? You just have a big heart. I remember when you would bring home all of those strays when we were kids. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're dating a vet. <laughs> How is Mr. Wonderful anyway? That was a pretty serious gift the other night. <laughs> He's great. He's better than great for the, First time, I feel like I'm with someone who really gets me. But... But... I just don't know if I get him. He hasn't told me anything about his past. I haven't met his family. Maybe there's a reason he's not opening up. What's what I'm afraid of? Well, you know what I mean. 
Some people's paths are painful. It's not like everybody grew up in suburban New Jersey. I'm sure he'll open up when he's ready. And he obviously adores you. There's no mystery about that. All right, break's over. Come on, you promised me two miles. Let's go. Coffee at the end. Coffee at the end. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is time for a change, but how do I know if a different hospital is going to be any better? And if I do transfer this early in my career, what's that going to look like? What do you think I should do? Listen to your heart. I hardly have time to listen to the new Taylor Swift album, let alone my heart. Hey, are you OK? You seem a little distracted. We need to reschedule Paris. What? Why? I got a letter from my brother. He's getting married this weekend. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had a brother, or any family, actually. I mean, obviously, you have a family, but I'm sorry, did you say a letter? Like, with stamps? There's a lot that I haven't told you about me, about my past. Really? I'm Amish. Come again? I was raised Amish in Stone County, Pennsylvania. My whole family, my mother, my brother and sister, everyone I grew up with, Amish. That's unexpected. I left home on Rome Springer when I was 16. That's when we decided between staying Amish or going English. I loved my family, my community, I, I still do. Part of me really wanted to stay, but I wanted things that they couldn't offer. So I chose. All of this. I need to go home. It mean a lot to my brother. To me too. I understand. And I appreciate you opening up to me about all of this. You're not totally freaked out? I'm pretty surprised, yes, but not totally freaked out. No, not yet anyway. Good, because I want you to go with me. I'm crazy about you, and I would love for you to meet my family. <sighs> that isn't that weird, is it? Um, he grew up without electricity. In the 21st century, lots of people grow up without electricity. Like? Like, all around the world. He's from Pennsylvania. Sorry, sorry. He could have been hiding a lot worse than a butter churn. I'm just happy that he finally opened up. I don't know if I can do this. What, why? I don't know the first thing about the Amish. What if his family, you know? What? Judges me. Well. I know all about that. So does Rob. Won't be the first time you've had to help a family accept someone from a different background. It's not the same thing. I'm just trying to say that you have a good heart. And Jesse's family will see that. I guess so. And as for the Amish and their ways, I'm sure Jesse will show you everything you need to know. And I might be able to help you a little bit. Well, like, um, the Amish don't show too much skin, so I would go with more dresses and, um, dresses. What makes you the expert? You remember my quilting phase? Rob and I spent a weekend in Stone County a couple years back. We totally fell in love with the place. The Amish have their quirks, but they're really nice people. It's a really tight-knit community. Good. Well, then maybe you can recommend a place we could stay? Oh, I, I have just the spot. We stayed at this adorable B&B, and I made friends with the owner. We still exchange Christmas cards. I, I will text her. <sighs> Don't be scared. You're going to have so much fun up there. I promise. Good, huh? It's beautiful. Ah! <laughs>
person buggy? Yep. <laughs> yep. Home sweet home. Jesse. Hey, Leroy. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Huh. Huh. <sighs> okay, no way are we just getting one pie. These are whoopie pies. These are coming with us. All right, let's do it. <laughs> oh. That's a blueberry muffin. I know what a blueberry muffin is. <laughs> well, if you want to get really Amish, I would go with the shoe fly pie over there. There aren't actually flies, though, in it, right? Just molasses. That's perfect. <sighs> All right. Can we get an apple crumb and a rhubarb, too? Mom's favorite. It's been a while since I've seen you, Jesse. Oh, just back for Levi's wedding and for your pie, of course. Do you know everyone around here? Not everyone. Jesse, hey. Hey, Rebecca, good to see you. You too, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm good, good to see you, take care. You too. Okay, almost everyone. It's hard not to in a small town. It's adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Spader, Mrs. Fisher. Pennsylvania Dutch, I mean, see you later. Is there anything else you think I should know before I meet the family? Most of the Amish don't listen to popular music, so they've never heard of Louis Armstrong, Elvis Presley. Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't get your heart set on dancing the love song at the wedding. On the plus side, gonna be a lot of food to eat. What else should I know? Well, the Amish don't really pay for the driveways. <laughs> Must have. Let's take a look. You Englishers get lost? <laughs> Responsible for the booby trap? Booby trap? I knew I'd forgotten something. I'm, I'm sorry, Bruder. Good to see you. Good to see you. Levi, this is April, the girlfriend. Oh, pleased to meet you, April, the girlfriend. I'm honored you could make it out to my wedding. Honored to be here. You and Sarah must be so excited. Yes, ma'am. Sarah and I are very much looking forward to it. Jesse! Rachel! Hi! <laughs> uh, uh, April, this is Rachel, my baby sister. Younger sister. It's so nice to meet you. We brought plenty of treats, so maybe you can help me take on this whoopie pie. Nothing from New York City? Uh, not this time. Sorry. Rachel is just beginning her room springer. She's very curious of the English lately. So what if I am? Easy, Shrestha. It's great that you want to learn more about the English world, but there's a lot of things that you'd miss here, too. Trust me. If you say so. Rach, why don't you take April inside? Jesse and I can move the car from the driveway for the guests coming tonight. Yeah. Why don't we take care of the car later? I want to see Mom. Yes, well, uh, do not expect the warmest of welcomes. She's still upset about Naomi Trotter. Rachel. Naomi Trotter? Friend. We grew up together. Amish mothers pride themselves on their matchmaking skills, and Mom set me up with Naomi when we were basically still in diapers, but she's married, happily married. No, her husband passed away last year. She's back on the market. Oh, sorry to hear that. 
So am I. It'll be all right, April. There's a rhubarb pie in there, yeah? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yes. Good. As soon as Mom sees it, she'll forget Naomi. Guaranteed. That's true. Come on. We'll be pie? Yeah, thank you. They're, uh, they're just back here. Thank you. There you are, Rachel. I need you to start on the cabbage rolls. You said I could take a break. You did. Now it's over. What in heaven's name is that? It's a rhubarb pie from... Jesse Harden. Didn't expect me to show up empty-handed, did you? Never know what to expect from you, boy. I really should go grab that rake. We'll see you all later. You are too thin. Glad you've returned for some real food. Mom, this is my girlfriend, April. April, this is my mother, Esther. Mrs. Harden. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. You have such a lovely home. Not quite. Been working day and night to get it ready for the wedding. Have sore joints all week. Wash those first, Rachel! What are you cooking? You'll find out at supper. Besides, imagine my son hasn't taught you much of Amish cooking. No, but he did tell me all about rhubarb pie. I've never tried it before. <laughs> what kind of woman's never tried a rhubarb pie? <laughs> Mom. I apologize. You must have much more worldly pleasures in New York. I like to try everything at least once. Of course you do. It seems like you're pretty busy, so we'll uh, settle in and I'll give April a tour. She's not staying, is she? The house is completely full. I have a room in town at the Country Oaks Bed and Breakfast. Kind of figured, no girlfriends allowed. <laughs> in the kitchen if you want. Pretty good with my hands. April's a doctor. That's awesome. Rachel, what have I said about English slang? Beg your pardon, Mom. Your chosen profession is exceedingly commendable. Thanks. Thank you, April, but we will be quite all right. But should I cut myself, you will be first to know. So do the Amish actually raise barns? They do. You can put one up in a day when the whole community comes together. This one, this one took us three. Wow, you built this? Oh, I held the nails for that. It's only about five years old. <laughs> it's beautiful. Stop. Harden Pond. Even I used to go fishing here. Not to catch, but once in a while we'd have something for mom to cook up for supper. I always felt bad for the fish, though. <laughs> Born animal lover. It's strange being here without dad. We never really got each other, but I miss the guy. I always hoped that we could make peace. Still hope that mom and I can. I'm sure you will. Thanks, but our families are different. Yours gets along. My family's had some hard times, too. Rob and May got engaged in college. Neither set of parents was excited about them getting married so young or being from, quote, different backgrounds. Your parents love Rob. Well, now they do, but it took a long time for them to open their minds and make some much needed apologies. Luckily, Rob and May found it in their hearts to give them a second chance. I had no idea. Well, there's some things from my past that I don't like to think about much either. But if my family can reconcile their differences, I have a feeling yours can too.
Jesse, April. Hey, what's with all the celery? Cream celery. It's traditional at weddings, like mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving. But much more delicious. A celery garden can be the only way to know when a wedding's coming up. Amish couples are very secretive, which is why this one didn't write me until the last minute. You know I've never been one to break tradition. Wow, it is just so beautiful out here. I could really get used to this. Careful. Pretty soon they'll have you up to milk the cows at 4 a.m. Levi, Jesse, Mom says to bring what you have. We have to get ready for supper. Already? I wish you'd early. Wasn't kidding about that 4 a.m. milking. <laughs> Do you think I should have worn something a little more? Amish? I'm feeling a little out of place. <laughs> you look great. And if it wouldn't scandalize my entire family, I'd totally kiss you right now. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> hey. Good afternoon, Levi. Afternoon. You must be Sarah. Blessing to meet you. Same here. Um... Uh, Daniel Trotter, an old friend of the family. Didn't know we'd have the pleasure today. Well, I suppose your mother didn't tell you. We only received the dinner invitation yesterday. We? Oui? Do you think I should ask your mom again if she needs some help? Jesse? Jesse? Naomi? Naomi? Trotter? Jesse. It's been a long time. I had no idea you were coming. Your mother invited us. We've always been close, especially this past year. I'm sorry about your husband. Thank you. He was a good man. Dot, you remember Jesse? I do. The young man who brought my daughter home from many frolics. Frolics? Um, Daniel, Naomi, this is April. The girlfriend. Hi, nice to meet you. Of course. Mrs. Hardin's told me all about you. Oh, none of it's true. No? I've always found Mrs. Hardin to be a reliable judge of character. Oh, I was joking. So then all of it was true. Naomi, there you are. Oh. Oh. Hello, Daniel. Uh, I hate to interrupt this little reunion, but I need someone who's actually useful in the kitchen. No problem. See you, Jesse. April. Some things never change. You were born hungry, Jesse Harden. I don't make food like this in New York. Pass the butter. But of course. April, tell me about yourself. What do you do in the English country? I'm a doctor. That must be rewarding work. It is. Feels good to help people. Sometimes it's hard, you know, when a patient isn't doing well or when someone comes up to me at a dinner party and wants me to check out their cough or their weird rash. <laughs> <laughs> if one of you has a rash, though. <laughs> no rashes here, but your offer is very much appreciated. To be honest, we Amish, we do not put much stock in English medicine. Some Amish. The older, more stubborn ones. Never seen a doctor in my life, and I've always been perfectly healthy. Didn't you mention something earlier about having sore joints? You know, with the leaves turning color, the wedding should be beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> We've natural remedies for such ailments. Well, if that's not working for you, a doctor could probably prescribe something better. We don't tell Englishers how to lead their lives. We are content to leave well enough alone. Would be nice if they'd return the favor. We stay out of their lives, but can't they stay out of ours? I, um... <clears throat> excuse, excuse me.
cars available? This really is Amish country. April, what are you doing? I never should have come here. Nobody wants me here. Hold on. I want you here. Mom's just, just... Trying to make me look bad so she can marry you off to Naomi Trotter? Seems like it. Look, don't worry about Mom. She hates me. She doesn't hate you. Okay, I appreciate that you're trying to make a good impression, but if I really cared what my mother thought, I never would have left. It's you I care about. You mean that? <laughs> Come on, let's go back inside. No, not tonight anyway. I still need to check into the B&B and I'll have a lot more energy for your family after a good night's sleep. Whatever you want. Just one problem. How do I get there? Oh, no. Oh, yes. No. Uh-huh. The way! <laughs> yeah. It's doing all right? Yeah. I thought this would be a little slower. I'm going pretty slow. <laughs> oh, okay! Oh, come on, it's not that scary. It's not exactly a merry-go-round either. All right, all right. I think I know a way to get us there a little bit faster. You know a shortcut? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from here, bellboy. It's getting dark. You should probably get back to the farm. Well, then I guess I'll see you in the morning. Night, Dr. Monroe. Night, Dr. Hardin. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna be okay going back in the dark? I think I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in the morning. Something about you was always hiding Waiting for the moment to break through And I for one was not expecting to fight Whatever it may be Cause now I can't believe how much I need you That I can see just what you are You look so beautiful to me You look so beautiful to me Yeah, I can see you now Rachel! This is not the time to go off by yourself. We have too much to do. Sorry. What is that? Nothing. Where did you get this? Did your brother bring it from New York? You tell me, Rachel Harden. I bought it. In town. Why are you so fascinated with the English? Why are you so against them? I need you to go to market. Take my list and some money. I need the receipt. Any breakfast left? You bet. Come on in. You're April, right? Yeah. Your sister May gave me a heads up and a history lesson. Sit. Oh, thanks. My husband Bill must have checked you in late last night. I'm Tabby. We own the place. So how's your stay? Perfect. I slept like a log last night. 
I don't think I woke up once. Pretty sure I could spend my whole trip in bed. <laughs> That's Stone County for you. Lots of peace, quiet, and Amish furniture. <laughs> Plenty of Amish, that's for sure. So, not to pry, but how is it with the Hardens? I am so sorry to hear that. Some Amish can be so stubborn about modern medicine. <laughs> about anything modern, for that fact. Frankly, I wish there were more doctors around here. Thanks. If only Mrs. Harden felt the same. At least you have Jesse. He's in your corner. Seems like a really great guy. He is, which is why I still really want his mom to like me. The Amish are good people. They just don't take easily to outsiders. Just give them a little time, that's all it takes. When Bill and I first moved here, we didn't feel like part of the community for like, ever it seemed. Now we got a lot of Amish friends. Where do you think I got that pancake recipe from? <laughs> <laughs> That must be Jesse. Yeah. Thank you for everything, Tabby. Anytime. Go get him, girl. You got this. <laughs> hey, stranger. Oh, Rachel, hi. Jesse's helping the men set up for tomorrow, so he asked me to get you. We also have to pick up some groceries for mom, too. Okay. Sure. Uh. Okay, okay. No offense, but are you sure you're old enough to drive this thing? You don't need a license for a horse and buggy. Oh gosh, maybe you should. Or bonnets. Rum Springer. What's all the cheese for? Macaroni and cheese. Levi specifically requested it. The Amish eat mac and cheese? Um, as much as possible. <laughs> wow, you guys are full of surprises. So tell me about English weddings. What do you want to know? Everything. <laughs> Do the brides always wear those beautiful white dresses? Most of the time. And the groom wears a tuxedo. There's usually a nice ceremony followed by a big party with lots of dancing <laughs> and champagne and cake <laughs> with a little plastic bride and groom on top. Then later, the bride will throw her bouquet to all of the single women, and the one who catches it supposedly will be the next to be married. You mean their mothers don't decide for them? Sounds amazing. I bet Amish weddings are a lot of fun, too. They'd be more fun with dancing. Jesse told me that most Amish don't really listen to mainstream music. Well, the church lets us bend the rules a little during Rumspringa. Me and my friends listen to the radio all the time. I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift? Yes, girl! Fist bump! <laughs> <laughs> she just sounds so full of life and so free. I get that. I really do. But even in the English world, no one is happy and free all the time. Sometimes our world is loud, busy, crazy, and crowded. A lot of times it's just downright scary. It can be hard to really get to know people or to find your place. But don't listen to me or your mom or even Taylor Swift. In the end, you gotta do what's right for you. Thanks, April. Anytime. By the way, what mom said last night about doctors, I hope you know she wasn't speaking for all of us. I like doctors. One anyway. Thanks, Rachel. That means a lot. Anytime. <laughs> now, on to much more important matters. Ever try Amish rock candy? No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need a lot of those. <laughs> Probably slow down. <laughs> Levi, your mother's looking for you. You and Sarah need to go over the seating for the head table. I thought we'd been over this. Is she in the kitchen? Where else?
been a long time since we've attended a wedding together. Eli and Emily Yoders, if I correctly recall? I'm sure you do. And you don't? No distant memories flooding back? A few. I'm sure you have a nice life back in New York, but you'll always have a home here. Excuse me. As a doctor of veterinary science, I insist you take it easy on that horse. He's just getting some exercise. Don't be such a hypocrite. Rachel's not the only hardened with a need for speed. Fair enough. You guys get everything you needed? And then some. April bought a pound of rock candy. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you're nice, I'll share some with you. See you inside. Thanks, Rachel. See? Told you my family would fall for you. We had a great time together. She kind of reminds me of you. Yeah? Don't tell mom that. Rock candy? You know, I paid you for a city slicker, April Monroe, but I have to say, small town life looks good on you. Yeah? Well, it's kind of fun to try on for a little while. We need to set up the benches over here. What do you think about this stuff? Your wedding day? No. What, you think every woman fantasizes about her wedding day? Okay, fine. <laughs> I really want like a big Barbie dream house wedding, white silk dress with a mermaid tail, jazz quartet that would obviously cover Taylor Swift songs, and next to the wedding cake, a giant tower of rock candy. Happy? Good to know. Why, is that something you think about? April, I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Go ahead. We got a lot of work to do out here still. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! What's this for? The wedding. Winning over Mom might be easier if he looked a little more like us. This is her old dress. It's still in good condition, though. Oh, I would love to wear it, but you really think that would be okay? Why not? She can't wear it. Do you have a mirror? The Amish don't use mirrors. Oh, right. Well, how do I look? Naomi Trotter is going to be shaking in her prayer cap. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, are you up there? What are you doing with that? Oh, um, Rachel was gonna let me wear it for the wedding tomorrow. You absolutely cannot. Mom, you never wear it. Doesn't mean you can loan it out to just anyone. Kitchen, now. Sorry, April. Sorry, April? You should apologize to your mother. This dress was not yours to give. I wanted to help her. I like her. You like anything English. And if you continue down this road, mark my words, it will lead to trouble. Your place is here. Well, that's for me to decide now, isn't it? Mrs. Harden, I didn't mean to offend you. Rachel was just trying to help me blend in. You are English, we are Amish, you will never blend in. I'm sorry. Mrs. Harden, are you okay? I'm quite well, thank you. Here, 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 please, sit down. Could someone please get her a glass of water? better? Have you had many episodes like this before? Lightheadedness, trouble breathing? A few. And when do these usually happen to you? Uh, around meal times, I suppose. And did all of this come on around the same time as the sore joints? I need to get back to work. Mom. Mrs. Harden. 
I know you probably don't want to hear this, but I think you could have adult onset diabetes. I'd recommend running some tests as soon as possible. I'm fine. Diabetes can be very serious if you don't get it treated. Now, if that's what this is, a doctor's probably going to tell you to make some changes to your diet, and I'm happy to make some recommendations as well. April, I do not think I speak Mark plainly when I say I'm not interested in your medical opinions or anyone else's. Do not bring this up again. Thank you for the glass of water. Of course. And April? You may wear my dress tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am. man this time tomorrow. I'm glad you're here, Jesse. I know you have a busy life, and well, thank you for making the time. Never too busy for family. I imagine wedding bells aren't too far in the future for you either. We'll see. I'll be honest, Bruda. I've seen you and April together. What, uh, what are your intentions with her? I've been carrying this around for a while waiting for the right time to ask her. Might just be this weekend, if that's all right with you. <sighs> of course. April is a good woman, and you have my approval. Rachel's too, I'm sure. Appreciate that. You know, I must admit, it's bittersweet. You and I starting these new lives. Soon we'll have children that could grow up running around together if, uh, well, if we didn't live so far apart. I didn't realize how much I'd miss this place. I'm sorry that I haven't come around more often. I hope I can change that. No, it's, it's okay, Bruda. We're on different paths. We always have been. It's just a passing thought. your help today. I have one last request. Finish up. <laughs> There's dishwashing to be done and we all should be in bed early. It's a big day tomorrow. <laughs> I can take you back to the inn. Got a new tire this morning. Oh, that's great. Just one thing. What? I kind of want to go in the buggy. I thought it made you nervous. It does, but it's important to face your fears. You're right. It is. Doing great. Just keep it tight and steady. Tight and steady. Let go now, all right? Okay. Tight and steady. Tight and steady. Tight and steady. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> See? All right, I'm gonna take the back road. Just turn up there. You didn't say anything about steering. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Almost as beautiful as the view down here. You just never see stars like this in the city. You know, I don't know if I ever realized everything that I'd lost by leaving. 
but I paint a lot too. <laughs> I could see myself settling down in a small town like this someday. Really? What about New York? Oh, shh, just let me fantasize for a minute. I could open my own practice, one without so many patients. You could open one right next door, and then we could meet every day for lunch. And after work, we could go home to an adorable little house with lots of fresh air. <laughs> Those sound pretty nice. <sighs> this has been so great. Thank you so much for bringing me here. <laughs> I never would have guessed this side of you, but I love it. April, there's something that I wanted to ask you. <gasps> Look, a shooting star. No, that's an airplane. <laughs> that was my next guess. <sighs> my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Well, I should probably be getting to bed. Like your mom said, tomorrow's gonna be a busy day, right? What exactly is the schedule? Uh, there's a ceremony for the Amish and then the English guest joined for the reception. Levi got special permission for me to attend from the bishop, so I think you're better. I'm so glad you're gonna be there for him. What were you gonna say before the plane? You can wait. Ruda, how do I look? Amish. Yeah. <laughs> you look great. Very respectable. She's a lucky woman. Not as lucky as I. I'm surprised you still have your old suit. After all these years. I'm surprised it still fits. What a lovely day for a wedding. Mr. Trotter. Jesse. You'll sit with us, won't you? You're practically family. We'd love to. Jesse will show you in. You too, Rachel. In you go. Just as I remember. Almost as if a single day hasn't passed. I don't know about that. Your being here means a great deal to Levi. To all of us. Grateful to be here, and for the bishop granting permission. Never doubted he would. Anyone can see you're still one of us. Shall we? Poor Naomi. This English girl has Jessie all mixed up. I wish there was something I could do to help her. I advise against it. We have grown children now, and as much as I'd like to see them wed, they need to decide such matters on their own. You are right, of course. But I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Let's forget about matchmaking for today. We have another couple to celebrate, do we not? <gasps> we do. <laughs>
marriage is a lifelong commitment. I vow to love and care for you as long as we both shall live. Marriage is a lifelong commitment. I vow to love and to care for you as long as we both shall live. So I need a second opinion. Yeah? Do I look completely ridiculous or just a little bit? <laughs> you look fantastic. Yeah? Yeah, they might even recruit you for the quilting circle. <laughs> you know what, you just need one more thing and I hope you don't mind that it comes from Lost and Found. Here we go. Oh my goodness. How do I do it? Just, yep, just like that. Push, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, you have to take a picture of this to send to me. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> and there. <laughs> Let me see it, I'll send it to her. <laughs> oh. She got it already. Like, she said, blink twice if you need rescuing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you know what? That sounds like an Amish prince. Here to get his Amish princess. Thank you, Tabby. Yeah, go get him. <laughs> Who are you and what did you do with my girlfriend? I was thinking the same thing. Except, you know, my boyfriend. Oh, Tabby, this is Jesse. Jesse Tabby. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot of great things about you. Nice to meet you, Tabby. You've got a beautiful place. Thank you, thank you. Is that mom's dress? It's a long story. I'll tell you after we take a picture. Tabby, do you mind? Oh, absolutely. Thanks. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Say buggy. 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 Oh, you guys look great. Here you go. Thank you, Tabby. Oh, thanks, Tabby. Great. Right, guys. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hardin. Bro, look at you. You look like a proper Amish woman. <laughs> She'll be coming to church with us before we know it. Well, one step at a time. Lovely dress, April. Not bad for an Englisher. I can't take all the credit. Had a little help. Esther, is this your dress? It is. And I believe it suits you, April. Jesse, April! We need more players. Are you in? Volleyball? Traditional Amish pastime, especially at weddings. Oh, when in Amish country. Yes. Jesse's on my team. It's my brother. <laughs> I call the first. Is there something you're not telling me? I'm just messing around. I'm not that good. Much? Haven't you had enough? I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Somebody's thirsty. 
Oh, it's not all for me. It's for the game. I had no idea Jesse was so good. There's a lot you don't know about Jesse. Listen, Naomi. I know you and Jesse have a history. We've known each other our whole lives. I understand that, but Jesse and I are together now, and I would appreciate it. It wasn't until our teens that he began to struggle, to wonder if all this was enough. Well, people change. But do they really? You can put on the dress, ride in the buggy, stuff your face with rhubarb pie, but it doesn't change anything doesn't make you one of us. You think changing what he wears, what he drives, where he lives, makes him one of you? He's happy here because he's one of us. Tell me you don't see it. This English life he's chosen, it won't last. Neither will you. You're wrong. Naomi, even if I am, you'll never be welcome here. So neither will he. You'll only drive him further away from the people he loves, and he'll only resent you for it. And it will end in pain and misery. Ah! Naomi! Ah! Ah! Are you... Ah! Naomi! Hey, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Ah! Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> I need you to describe the pain you're experiencing. I don't know how. Try. There's a sharp pain, like a knife. Have you experienced pain like this before? It's gotten worse all day. Naomi, I'm gonna push down, okay? When I press, I need you to tell me if the pain gets better or worse. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's my answer. What are you doing to her? I think Naomi has appendicitis. We need to get her to a hospital right away. Can somebody call an ambulance? Yeah, I got it. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Good catch, doctor. We don't get many calls from this part of the county. Too few, actually. Miss Trotter's lucky you're here. I think a CT scan's gonna show that she'll need an appendectomy right away. Of course. She's in good hands. I'm gonna go with her. My apologies for the disruption. No, no, go, please. God be with both of you. She gonna be okay? Appendectomies are pretty routine these days. I'm sure she'll be just fine. Some real superhero stuff. Proud of you. Thanks. Is everything okay? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Hey, thanks again for your help, doctor. We're out of here. Wait, do you think I could ride with you? Sure, there's room in the back. Where are you going? I thought you said she was going to be OK. I don't think I can do this, Jesse. What do you mean? I don't belong here. Not really. I'm just keeping you from all of this. Your family, I will never. You're breaking up with me? I just. I think we'd both be better off if this ended right now. April, we can make this work. I love you. I mean, I, look, I want to marry you. You coming, Doc? I'm sorry, Jesse. April! Did a fly land on that? I've never seen you take so long to eat pie. I'm not hungry. You want it? Where's April? I haven't seen her around all evening. She left. For the inn? For New York. Without me. We, uh, she ended things. So she's gone? 
Just like that? Well, she was convinced that it was bound to end, so... Sooner than later. Well, Mom's hospitality certainly didn't help. Don't blame Mom. It's not not her fault. She had it out for April ever since she got here. All because of her obsession with Naomi Trotter. Maybe I should have told April sooner. Why didn't you? It's complicated. I'm not a kid anymore, Jesse. It's because I was afraid that this would happen. And maybe April's right. Maybe the longer that love lasts, the more that it hurts when it ends. And if I'd just been honest with her from the start and scared her away, it would have stung, but it, it wouldn't feel like this. Feels this bad now. I mean, just imagine how it'd feel two, three, ten years down the road. But does it have to end like this? Will it end like this for Levi and Sarah? Did it end like this for mom and dad? Rachel, the English world is different. So there's no true love in your world. When things get hard, you just give up? Is that the English way? Or is that your way? Rachel, Jesse. Jesse, Rachel, up, up. We need your help with some cleaning. What's wrong? April broke up with him. Really? Try not to sound so upset. Watch your tone, Rachel Harden. Or what? I'm a little old to be punished, don't you think? Why are you ruining this blessed evening? It is Levi's wedding. You ruined it first. I'm getting my things. I'm not staying here anymore. You know what, Mom? It's one thing to drive away everyone you love. But everyone I love? Roger. Yeah, follow me. Naomi, do you have a visitor? Esther. I'm sorry to show up empty handed, but with your stomach being afflicted, I wasn't sure what to bring. <laughs> you needn't bring anything, Esther. Your presence is more than enough. How are you feeling? A little tired, but I feel much better. The doctor says she may be able to come home as soon as tonight. Oh, that's wonderful. These English doctors, they work miracles. Makes one feel foolish for doubting their abilities. Where is April? It may please you to know she's returning to New York. Alone. Before coming here, I had some words with her. Said some hateful things. Lies. I was jealous of Jesse's love for her, and I'm afraid what I said made them quarrel. 
she hadn't helped me. Even after the cruel things I told her, who knows what could have happened. She saved my life. I'll be right down. here. You guys must have been up for like half the night. It, no, it was no problem. Zeke's at a friend's house. The neighbor's watching Scout. And we go anywhere for family, especially Amherst country. Now bring on the pies and pancakes. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so then I took a taxi back from the hospital. Thankfully, Tabby was around to put up with my blubbering half the night. Oh, girl, can you still cry? And you had reason to. Rob and I are happy to take you home. But I'm feeling like you're gonna regret leaving. You stood by us when our parents didn't accept us. You convinced your parents to change their mind and their hearts. And if you can change our family's minds. I don't know. Why is that? Because the Amish don't change. It's kind of their thing. Family's just as important to Jesse as it is to me. I won't make him choose. So you're deciding for him? It's for the best. There's no point in delaying the inevitable. It's painful enough as it is. Please, Rachel, allow me a moment. You're welcome to go after that. One minute. I've just been to see Naomi. She is doing much better. The doctors say she may even return home today. You can thank April for that. I plan to. You asked why I dislike the English. Because they took your brother Jesse. And seeing your interest in their world has made me worried that I would lose another child. But the fact is you are not a child and Trying to keep you close, I have only succeeded in driving you away. The English never took Jesse. He chose his own path, and I must admit, he chose the right path for himself. I am sorry I haven't trusted you to make your choice. Whatever you decide, I will always love you, no matter what. Mom? You think 
think I can get a ride back to the farm? Of course, my dear. Come back soon, Bruda. I will. We'll miss you, Jesse. I'll miss you too. from your dad, something you should have gotten a long time ago. Dear Jesse, it's been a long time since we have spoken, but I felt cause today to tell you how proud I am of your accomplishments. Mom tells me that you've started work at an animal hospital in New York. You don't have to choose between us, son. Our love for you is endless, and my prayer for you is that you find this deep love in the English world as well. Your dad. Same heart. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jesse. So sorry that I never told you how proud your dad was of you. How proud I was of you. I wanted you to come home and... I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you. Can you ever forgive me? I can. But there's someone else you need to apologize to also. I know. Maybe we both need to come to our senses. Well, the recovery process won't be super fun, but on the plus side, you'll be able to eat all the ice cream you want. Assuming that's okay with mom, of course. We'll get all your favorite flavors, sweetie. Oh, can I get my tonsils out today? <laughs> <laughs> Not today, my dear. <laughs> but, um, Margo, down there in reception, she'll get you guys on the calendar right away, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Beautiful day. You're right. Thank you for making me get out of the office. I really tell you what season it is. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you shut yourself back in your work office and pretend like you weren't heartbroken. Hey, you would have done the same for me, except you would have made me run. So, well, thank you for sparing me that. <laughs> yeah, well, I just figured you didn't want to be all gross and sweaty. Not with Jesse here. I can't believe I didn't chase that ambulance. The person that I am with you is a million times more important than anyone that I was before. And I'm sorry that I didn't make you see that. I love you, April. I love you too. And I'm sorry that I left the way that I did. But I'm not willing to be the reason you can never go home. Wherever you are, that's home. 
even if you feel that way. Your family never will. I thought you might say that. We both did. We Amish can be hard-headed people, none more so than me. I was a fool not to see that you are a lovely, noble-hearted woman and an answered prayer. My son has need of a good partner, and from time to time, I'll have need of a good doctor. April, will you forgive me? It's not really customary among the Amish, but is it okay if I hug you? I would like that. <laughs> April. You are the love of my life. And being with you is what's most important to me. We can figure out the rest later. Will you marry me? Yes, of course I'll marry you, Dr. Harden. You look so beautiful to me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Something about you was always hiding, waiting for the moment to break through. So beautiful to me. Yeah, I can't see you now. 